The API Challenges application has a simulation mode, which is really good for starting with to get used to using the tools to understand a little bit about some of the requests. And you can make fewer errors doing this. So I'm going to show you a brief example of the simulation mode in this video. So simulation basically means it's got an endpoint, uh, a REST server where you can send requests, but the responses that you get will have canned data. So if you try and amend some of the data, it won't amend on the server. You can't do any damage whatsoever. You will always receive a canned response back, which means you simply have to get the URLs and the verbs correct in order for this to work. So let's have a quick look. Um, it says that we can get, and then there's the URL we're going to hit, and it should return a 200, and it will list entities in the system. So if I go into Insomnia to try this, get apichallenges.herokoapp.com slash sim slash entities, send that request, and we should get a response back when the API Challenges server starts up, and it's in JSON. So we've received entities in the system, and this is a simulated set of data. It's not real in an API, we cannot amend this. But what we can do, what the simulation is coded to respond to, is if I want to experiment with headers, and say I want to accept uh, XML, instead of JSON, I will send in accept application XML, send that through, and it will give me the information back in XML that will respond to JSON or XML. This is an easy way to start. The documentation is not in Swagger. The documentation is not hard. You basically just enter these requests that are coming through. This says get a specific entity, and we'll send that through. Now, if you wanted to practice writing automated execution code, you know that the replies are always going to be the same for specific requests, which can make your test repeatable. And again, it's just an easy way to start executing this. In some of the later videos, I'll go through all the simulated responses so we can see what we've got. But hopefully that's enough information for you to start up whatever API tool you're using to go off to apichallenges.herokuapp.com slash simulation.html and start using the simulated API to experiment and begin learning the REST API testing processes.